Well, the Orioles starting pitching really overall has done a very good job this year, in particular, the guy at the back end of that. Hey, get this guy some runs. For more on that, let's head across the field and join Amber with David Hernandez. Amber. Well, the Orioles really have been pleased with the way David Hernandez has pitched. And David, you fought to win that job at spring training. You get the fifth starters job. Now, it seems that you're pitching with confidence. Is that what has changed the most from your rookie year to this year? I mean, I think I think that's a big part of the game is having confidence and the the ability to go out there and be able to, to compete against the best teams. And I just feel like after every start and bullpen, you just learn a little bit more and you're, like it just gets a little bit a little bit more clear to what you're trying to do. Last year, you were one and two against the Red Sox, but you faced them again on Sunday for the first time this year. A lot of familiar faces in that lineup. I know Jacoby Ellsbury, other people weren't in that lineup. But overall, did you feel a sense of accomplishment being able to pitch well against that team that you didn't do so hot last year against? Yeah, I think I think a big part of that was being able to throw my off-speed pitches for strikes, and that's going to be key face in any lineup you're going to have to have another pitch and another two pitches to be able to get through the lineup two and three times and then obviously on Sunday um, it's the leadoff walks that got to me and I mean I did it I think the fourth fifth and sixth inning and it just finally caught up to me in the sixth inning. Is that going forward one of your biggest focuses now is limiting those those leadoff walks or leadoff batters in general because I remember two starts before that that was an issue as well. Yeah that's a big part of it for me because uh, getting the first guy out such a such a relief knowing that you know there's only two more outs you got to get in the, in the inning but once that first guy gets on it's kind of like okay don't don't want to let it snowball on you and then and then in six inning then and that's what happened. Last year, we saw you lean a lot on your fastball. We knew that four-seamer was pretty pretty devastating. But this year, you told me that your two-seamer seems to be almost what you're more comfortable with. How did that transition and develop in the offseason? Um, it's it really developed a lot during during spring training. You know, I kind of fiddled with it in off in the offseason. But I feel like now it's just the pitch that I throw. I'd, I'd probably say 80, 90 percent of the time. I just feel a lot more comfortable with it. I mean. Probably doesn't have as much movement as you know as a sinker ball as we have like a Bergie or, or a JJ, but um, I feel like it has enough movement to where I can get get them off a straight a straight fastball. We have seen a lot of games from the starters this year in which the starting pitching was very quality. The run support just wasn't there, but it seems you have been the worst victim of that. You've gotten just one run total support. You've had four starts. That's under one run a game. Is it difficult to pitch in that situation? I know those are the right things to say, but when you know that your team is that close when it's an only a one-run game, what position does that put you in? Um, it's, it's a tough position to be in, but... Um, the way I look at it is that you try and go out there and throw up zeros to keep your team from not pit battling behind, and um, I think that's a big part of it. Um, you know, it, it's just, you know, as long as we win the game, I mean, I think that that's what we're most looking forward to. All right, well, hopefully next time you're on the mound, the Orioles will score some runs. If you won't say it, I'll say it. They need to score some runs next time David Hernandez is on the mound. I know it's been a fun watching you transition from your rookie year, and we look forward to seeing you grow this year. Thank you. All right, let's go back to you, Jim and Rick.